Unlocking Liver Health, 9 Foods to Avoid for a Cancer-Free Liver The liver is a powerhouse organ, performing vital functions like detoxifying harmful substances, aiding in digestion, and regulating metabolism. But did you know that certain foods can be detrimental to your liver's health and may even increase the risk of liver cancer? Have you ever wondered what foods might be secretly affecting your liver's health? Are you curious to know how you can protect this vital organ and reduce the risk of liver cancer? Let's first understand the signs that our liver might be struggling. Fatigue, bloating, and changes in skin color are just a few symptoms to watch out for. Recognizing these early warning signs is key to taking proactive steps for liver health. We'll explore how certain foods contribute to liver stress and why they can be harmful. From processed meats to sugary snacks, the everyday foods we consume can significantly influence liver function and health. But it's not all doom and gloom. Awareness and dietary choices are powerful tools for prevention. Today, we'll guide you through the nine foods to avoid for a healthier liver and a reduced risk of liver cancer. Stay with us as we unlock the secrets to liver health and pave the way for a healthier, happier you. Let's dive right in and discover the nine foods that your liver will thank you for avoiding. 1. Saturated and trans fats. Saturated and trans fats, commonly found in foods like red meat, cheese, butter, and processed goods, are prevalent in many people's daily diets. Notably, saturated fats are usually solid at room temperature and primarily come from animal sources, while trans fats mainly arise from the hydrogenation of vegetable oils, extending the shelf life of processed foods. Excessive consumption of these fats poses multiple health risks, particularly to the liver. Medically speaking, they increase levels of LDL cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol, in the blood, thus placing greater strain on the liver in its fat metabolism and filtration processes. Moreover, overindulgence in foods high in saturated and trans fats can lead to fatty liver disease, a condition where fat accumulates in the liver. This not only causes liver damage but also heightens the risk of liver cirrhosis and liver cancer. From a medical perspective, reducing or limiting the intake of foods rich in saturated and trans fats is crucial for safeguarding the liver against such damage and for overall health improvement. This approach doesn't just lower the risk of liver-related diseases but also offers significant benefits for cardiovascular health and body weight management. 2. Alcoholic Beverages Alcoholic beverages, ranging from beer to spirits, are an integral part of many cultures around the world. However, the consumption of alcohol can have significant impacts on health, particularly on the liver which is the primary organ responsible for processing and eliminating alcohol from the body. When alcohol is consumed, it is broken down by the liver into substances that can be harmful. This process produces byproducts like acetaldehyde, a toxic substance that can damage liver cells. If alcohol is consumed regularly or in large quantities, the liver can become overwhelmed and unable to effectively remove these toxins, leading to conditions such as alcoholic hepatitis, cirrhosis, and even liver cancer. The primary cause of liver problems related to alcohol is due to its overuse and excessive consumption. This not only increases the production of acetaldehyde and other toxins in the liver but also damages liver cells, impairing liver function. Consequently, the liver becomes less capable of processing alcohol and other toxins, leading to their accumulation and further harm to the body. Controlling alcohol intake and avoiding its abuse are effective ways to protect the liver and maintain overall health. By understanding these risks and taking proactive steps to manage alcohol consumption, individuals can significantly reduce the likelihood of developing serious liver conditions. 3. Aflatoxins 
aflatoxins, potent toxins produced by certain molds, are commonly found in improperly stored foods such as peanuts, corn, and soybeans. These toxins are not only harmful to the liver but are also known carcinogens. Aflatoxins are produced by Aspergillus fungi, which thrive in warm and moist conditions. When humans consume food contaminated with aflatoxins, these toxins accumulate in the liver, causing cellular damage and impeding liver function. Long-term exposure to aflatoxins can lead to serious conditions such as liver cirrhosis and liver cancer, especially in cases of prolonged and continuous exposure. The primary cause of the risk of aflatoxin exposure is improper food storage, particularly in conditions that are warm and moist, which promote the growth of aflatoxin-producing molds. Therefore, proper food storage and quality checks before consumption are effective ways to reduce the risk of aflatoxin exposure and protect liver health. 4. Nitrites and Nitrates Nitrites and nitrates are chemical compounds commonly used as preservatives in processed foods, especially in meat products like sausages and deli meats. While they help maintain the freshness and color of food, concerns have been raised about their impact on health, particularly their carcinogenic potential. Nitrites and nitrates act as preservatives by inhibiting bacterial growth and keeping meat visually appealing. However, during digestion, they can be converted into potentially cancer-causing compounds, especially nitrosaminas. These compounds have been linked to an increased risk of certain cancers, including stomach, liver, and colorectal cancer. The primary health risk from nitrites and nitrates arises from their metabolism in the body into harmful compounds. When consumed, Nitrites and nitrates in food can interact with other protein compounds in the stomach to form nitrosaminas, a group of compounds with carcinogenic potential. This risk is heightened when foods containing nitrites and nitrates are cooked at high temperatures, such as during grilling or frying, increasing the likelihood of nitrosamine formation. Therefore, minimizing the consumption of foods containing nitrites and nitrates particularly processed meat products, is important for reducing cancer risk and protecting overall health. This approach aligns with medical advice focusing on dietary choices that limit exposure to potential carcinogens. 5. Refined Sugars Foods containing refined sugars, including sweets, sugary drinks, and many processed foods are a staple in modern diets. While these foods offer appealing sweetness, refined sugar can lead to numerous health issues, particularly affecting the liver. Refined sugars, such as sucrose and high fructose, are often added to foods and beverages to enhance flavor. However, excessive consumption can result in various health problems. In the liver, refined sugar is easily converted into fat, leading to fatty liver disease where fat accumulates in the liver and impairs its function. This condition also increases the risk of other health problems like type 2 diabetes and heart disease. The main cause of liver problems related to refined sugar is the excessive conversion of these sugars into fat within the liver. Overconsumption of refined sugars, especially in processed foods and sweetened beverages, leads to fat accumulation in the liver, resulting in fatty liver disease. This not only affects liver function but also contributes to a range of other health issues, particularly in individuals with a diet high in refined sugars. Therefore, limiting the intake of refined sugars is crucial for protecting the liver and maintaining overall health. By understanding these risks and moderating sugar consumption, Individuals can significantly reduce the likelihood of developing liver-related and other chronic health conditions. 6. Artificial Food Artificial food additives, including artificial flavors, colors, and preservatives, are an integral part of the modern food industry. 
They enhance the taste, appearance, and shelf life of food products. However, some artificial additives can pose health risks, particularly to the liver. These additives are incorporated into foods to make them more visually and gustatorily appealing. When consumed in excess, they can trigger negative reactions in the body. The liver, being the primary organ for detoxifying harmful substances, has to work harder to eliminate these additives from the body. The accumulation of additives can cause damage to liver cells and affect liver function. The main reason for liver-related issues due to artificial additives is the body's need to process and eliminate them. Certain additives, when consumed in large quantities or regularly, can become toxic to the liver and hinder its normal functions. This is especially true for individuals with sedentary lifestyles or unhealthy diets. 7. Fish contains mercury content. Certain types of fish such as swordfish and shark are known for their high mercury content. Mercury is an environmental toxin that can accumulate in the aquatic food chain and ultimately concentrate in larger, predatory fish. Consuming these fish can introduce mercury into the human body, leading to health issues. Mercury is a harmful heavy metal that can accumulate in the body over time. When high mercury fish are consumed, this toxin can accumulate in tissues, particularly in the liver, where toxins are filtered and processed. Mercury can damage liver cells, reduce liver function, and cause other health problems. The primary reason for the risk of mercury consumption from fish is due to the biological cycle and accumulation of mercury in the aquatic food chain. Large, predatory fish often accumulate significant amounts of mercury by eating smaller fish, and when humans consume these larger fish, mercury is transferred into our bodies. This is especially concerning for pregnant women and young children, as mercury can harm neurological development. Therefore, choosing fish with lower mercury levels and reducing the consumption of high mercury fish is essential for health protection, especially liver health. By understanding these risks and making informed choices about fish consumption, individuals can significantly reduce their exposure to mercury and protect their liver and overall health. 8. Foods cooked at high temperatures. Foods cooked at high temperatures, such as grilled meats and fried items, are a common part of many diets. However, this cooking method can produce harmful compounds, notably acrylamide, which is considered potentially carcinogenic. When foods, especially carbohydrates, are cooked at high temperatures, as in baking or frying, acrylamide can form. This compound is created through a reaction between the amino acid asparagine and natural sugars in food. The highest levels of acrylamide are typically found in products like French fries and toasted bread. The primary cause of acrylamide formation in food is the thermal reaction between the natural components of food at high temperatures. Acrylamide is not only associated with an increased risk of cancer but can also cause liver damage and other organ harm when consumed regularly and in large amounts. Therefore, minimizing the consumption of foods processed at high temperatures and switching to healthier cooking methods, such as steaming or boiling, is important to reduce the risk of acrylamide intake and protect overall health. 9. Contaminated Food Contaminated food, particularly when not properly processed or stored, can lead to infections and liver inflammation. The risk of bacterial contamination in food is a significant public health concern, affecting both individual health and food safety. Food can become contaminated from various sources, including bacteria, viruses, or parasites. These microorganisms can cause diseases such as gastrointestinal infections, food poisoning, and even hepatitis. Commonly affected foods include raw or undercooked meat, seafood, eggs, and unpasteurized milk. 
The main reason for the risk of bacterial contamination in food is improper food processing or storage. Inadequate handwashing and kitchen utensil sanitation, using the same utensils for raw and cooked food, or storing food at inappropriate temperatures can create conditions conducive to bacterial growth. When these microorganisms are ingested, they can harm the digestive system and liver, leading to serious health issues. Therefore, implementing food safety measures such as proper food processing and storage is essential to protect health and prevent diseases caused by foodborne bacteria. All right, folks. Today we've taken a deep dive into the world of food and liver health. We've explored everything from the effects of hydrogenated fats and high mercury fish to the risks posed by artificial additives and contaminated foods. Remember, while our liver is incredibly resilient, it's up to us to support it with healthy dietary choices. So, let's make more informed decisions about what we eat. Opt for fresh, whole foods whenever possible, and be mindful of how our food is processed and prepared. Reducing our intake of these nine types of foods can not only help maintain a healthy liver but also contribute to our overall well-being. To learn more about this topic, please like the video and subscribe to my Healthy Care channel. I want to express my gratitude once again for your viewership and support in watching this video today. I send my best wishes for you to always be safe, prosperous, and happy.